solemnly swear, I solemnly swear to objectively and subjectively evaluate each ancillary entry that is presented to my eyes, my nose, my hands, and my palate. I accept my duty to be a 23rd annual Blue Ridge Barbecue and Music Festival judge in Tryon, North Carolina in ancillary categories on Friday night. <laughs> so that truth, justice, excellence in culinary delight, in the American way of life, may be strengthened and preserved forever. Okay, we saw a good many peppers in various shapes with uh, different cheese inside and uh, I think we had about three of them total. It was uh, very good. We had one uh, shrimp and grits combination, which was also very tasty. Uh, uh, generally speaking, I, I didn't see anything that really blew me off the wall, but they were all very good. Yes, we probably had, and the rest of it was just kind of just, uh, just okay. <clears throat> uh, let's see. What did we decide the, the second meat was? What? Filet. It was a filet. Yeah. I was a big fan of the filet. I was a big fan of the shrimp and grits. And things that I was not a big fan of, I still was a fairly big fan of. I like the grits with the shrimp were delicious, and the fish was great. I thought the filet was great. The shrimp and grits were really, really good. And uh, some of the stuff, I um, wasn't sure what it was. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, love the filet. Uh, it was probably my favorite. And not a big salmon eater, but it was still delicious. It was very tasty. So everything was good, though. Okay. Uh, delightful desserts. Uh, we had six entrees today, and uh, every one of them was delicious. It was uh, difficult, but I managed to score all of them high. <laughs> I'll second, I'll second that, and the, uh, the anything but that we started with, we had a great dinner to start and a great dessert selection for a finish. I think that um, one of my favorites was this little thing right here. Real Guinness? Well, it has Guinness flavor in there, and I thought that was kind of interesting. And this, everything was delicious, but uh, I, I can't believe they can do it all here on the premises. The entrees were very good. The food was amazing. The creativity was very, very good and had a lot of good entries today. Very, very well done. Take another bite and we'll hand you the microphone. <laughs> <laughs> it was all delicious and they're very creative. So we had a great time here tasting all the good food. Thank you. Hi, I'm Rick Orstrom. I'm the um, kind of founder and uh, backer of Culture on the Cob. Uh, we've been competing here for about 12 years in Tryon. Um, we are not a full-time professional team, though we try to compete professionally the one time a year that we do compete. Um, our big thing has been, since we came here, introducing different barbecue influences from around the world. And we were the first people to bring proper Jamaican jerk technique here, along with the bay leaves, the super high quick cooking uh, method, which is, of course, exactly the opposite of what everyone here does. And in the subsequent years, we've been trying to integrate at least a lot of different taste influences. So barbecue from Africa, elsewhere in the Caribbean, the Middle East, um, a, you know, barbecue is, is a huge global enterprise. Um, it's not as competitive overseas, so I'm informed that that's beginning um, to take place. But there are really substantial barbecue cultures most places, and they're really interesting. And what intrigues me is the kind of cross-pollination of cooking techniques, flavors, ingredients, etc. Um, because I think that that's really what keeps cooking interesting. I solemnly swear, I solemnly swear to objectively and subjectively evaluate each part of the 
This is whole hog competition at the 23rd annual Blue Ridge Barbecue Festival. Uh, my first entry in whole hog, uh, the box was a little disrumble. Uh, the meat was a little tough and had uh, just uh, very little flavor. Number two, uh, the meat was more tender uh, but still was kind of bland. Number three, uh, had good flavor, uh, tender, uh, and I thought it was good, re uh, good presentation. And number four uh, was the best presentation of all as far as I'm concerned. It had great texture, great flavor, uh, and it was well cooked and well prepared. Number one was tough. Uh, presentation left something to be desired. A difficulty telling which three parts of the meat it was sort of all thrown in the box together. Um, it has a little sauce on it, which was okay. Number two was tough and dry to me. Uh, the bark tasted okay, but it still lacked some flavor. Number three was a little bit more tender. Uh, there wasn't much meat on the rib, but that was okay. You could at least bite into it and it pulled away from the bone. Mine did anyway. The last one was very, very good. It was tender. Uh, even the the white whiter part of the whole hog, which tends to, it could be dry, but this was not dry at all. And the bark was very good, tender and moist. If when you pulled it apart and sort of meshed it be between your fingers, it was just it was delicious. And it also, when you meshed it between your fingers, it left some um, residue, some moisture on your fingers. Thank you. Number one, I thought was was drying just a little tough to really get a good flavor out of it. It wasn't the flavor I, I thought we should have had in a KCBS type event. Uh, number two, for me, I like that bark. I uh, sort of liked the, the flavor more. Uh, it was good. Uh, tenderness was good. Uh, I liked it. Uh, the number three, okay, it was tender at times. The, the rib didn't have enough meat on it to really taste for me, and that what I got was a little fat uh, and just way, way overcooked. Um, my best was the fourth one. It had good flavor, good texture. It was tender. Uh, I liked it best of all comparing uh, KCBS standards to, to the meat, and I, I like number four better than all. 
I agree with the others that uh, number one was a little dry and uh, lacking in some flavor there. Number two was getting better. Uh, it was a little moister and had more flavor. The bark was good. Uh, I disagree with the others a little bit that uh, the third was my favorite. Uh, I, I found it to uh, have a lot of good flavor, uh, good texture, and uh, that was my favorite. And my second favorite, though, was the fourth entry that had flavor. Uh, a little concerned some of the heat overpowered some of the flavor at the end, I thought. Uh, but uh, very good presentations, uh, especially for the third and fourth. Number one and number two were very similar in terms of texture, a little bit dry for my taste. Uh, number two started to get a little bit more flavor, but still not uh, not enough for my preference. Number three was uh, very good in terms of flavor. I thought the, the nice selection of cuts of meat were in the box, and uh, I thought it was I thought it was very good. Number four, I also enjoyed. It was um, flavorful. Uh, there were couple pieces like the loin that were just a tad on the dry side uh, but uh, overall I thought it was a very good uh, presentation. Uh, one and two for me were just a little uh, little dry but the presentation on both one and two were real real good. Uh, number three was my favorite had the best flavor wasn't overcooked and the spices were just right. Number four was just a little too salty for my liking, uh, but the uh, the uh, texture and all was very very good. One, two, three, four, five. My my favorite was probably the third and the fifth. I liked them both. I liked the taste. One of them had a little more kick to it, which I happen to like. The first two I thought had good flavors, but my particular pieces were just way too dry. I agree with her on what she was saying, except for my fourth, I did not, for some reason or another, could not uh, figure out the taste or not sure why I liked it or didn't like it, which was 118. <laughs> and, uh, but I do agree with her on three and five were my favorite too. Okay, I, I thought um, number two was really, really good. It, to me, it was it was moist and tender. The sauce was wonderful. First of all, they're all good. I mean, it was all real good. The um, the third and the fifth one I thought were the best of the thighs and everything. Okay. Uh, to me, number three and five definitely stood out uh, much better. Uh, was, the sauce was complementary to the meat. It wasn't too over -sauced. They were moist. Uh, both had bite through skin. Um, it's just a very good flavor profile on those. My least two favorites had to be number one and two. Very, very dry. Uh, in fact, one was uh, burnt uh, a little bit as well. Um, I thought number one was a little bit dry and uh, the flavor was otherwise good. I really enjoyed the flavor of the wing, but mine was a little bit mushy, um, which didn't really uh, help out. Uh, the smokiness was wonderful though. Number three was moist and I did enjoy the sauce. Um, number four did end up a little bit um, scattered. Uh, th there seemed to be a lot of different flavors going on that didn't all go together very well. And number five, I really enjoyed it. It had a buttery quality to the sauce that I thought uh, complemented the sweetness very well, and it was perfect. Nice, nice. <laughs> Stress. Perfect. It's perfect. It's perfect. Uh, it's kind of, the top's not going to close. I think it will. I think you can Is that adjust it. Is it going up? No, spin it, uh, well, the ribs were uh, an average bunch of ribs. Uh, one rib was uh, extremely tough, wouldn't pull off of the bone at all, so that was out on tenderness. Uh, the others were all pretty much the same. Uh, sauces were pretty close to each other. Uh, the tenderness was all about the same, but I couldn't find a great nine rib out of this group had lots of eights.
a nice group of ribs, but a couple were too peppery for me, although the tenderness was okay. Uh, I found two ribs that were satisfying in the sense that the sauce did not appear or did not interfere with the taste of the meat itself. But two, though, I, I found no nines across the board in the batch. Uh, looking at the uh, the table on it today, I would say that there was two of them. Just as I've said before, that uh, were tough. Uh, one of those uh, was it was extremely salty, and um, the other three were very similar. Uh, I had two of them that uh, I liked the best of the five in the category. And I also found two to be on the tough side. They didn't have a good bite. Um, the other three were very similar and uh, were, were average, nothing really outstanding today. Uh, not much to add. I did find uh, one of the uh, ribs was not heavily sauced, and which was a nice departure from what I've seen uh, in past competitions. Uh, one of them actually, uh, contrary to what others have seen, stood out a little bit more to me than, than the rest. Some good ribs today. Um, two of them I think stood out as better than the others. One of them was pretty tough. Just looking for that good bite and, you know, we'll see what happens. Best foot forward. This is as good as we get. And hopefully it's good enough. Okay, we're gonna have to take some. And the, the tenderness is spot on. You've got good flavor. You're Look okay, Chad. Too big. Yeah. Don't make them so big. Small. That's too big. Too big. Too big. Too big. Oh, that cap of that. Don't touch it. Don't touch it too much. We don't want greasy lettuce everywhere. <laughs> it just feels a little too. Okay, mix it back up. I probably didn't do a good job there. No, it's alright. Who can take a picture? I got you. Okay. The official here can. I got hands in it. But Sorry. I can take too like big. A Overall, I like the first entry here. Um, to me, it was very moist and tender. Uh, had a very good flavor. And um, I did enjoy the rest of the meat, but that happened to be my overall favorite. Okay. Number one was my favorite as well. It was pure, pure flavor of pork without a whole lot of sauce on it. Uh, number two had a good flavor as far as the sauce goes, but it was um, uh, overcooked, burnt on the outside. Uh, tried to achieve a good bark on it, but it was too much bark. Um, the others were okay, but number one was my favorite. Probably the worst pork round I've have been through in quite a while. Bland on a lot of it, oversauced on one. I wish I could give them a chance to do it over again. Amen. And amen. All mine were mediocre at best and really don't deserve much more comment. I like to be as generous as possible because they work very hard at it, but th these were generally uh, tasteless. Uh, one was a little bit overcooked. Uh, uh, they, were, they were pretty look to look at, but uh, the flavor was sort of lacking. I didn't really have much to comment about. The Which is the big side, left or right? Right? Right is big. That's right, I didn't even know. Two. Ooh, you guys. No That's cap. hot. It's like the top side and... Uh, there you go. Beautiful box. <laughs> You're dripping so much, though. That's all right. How many more we got? Put your towel over on there? that side. Are you supposed oh, yeah, to put six in? Six of yeah. everything and everything? Yeah, that's six judges. So you six make or more. sure that they uh, that each get a complete oh, portion. Just, like, <laughs> they only, they only they, eat like one bite of it. They only eat a bite. Oh, okay. They really don't eat that much of it. Oh, if they just take a bad bite of it. You, man, th you right? think oh, if they ate it all, it's two and a half pounds of meat. I know. All right, one, two, three, four. Oh, <laughs>
another piece. <laughs> Two and a half pounds. Wow. Five. Oh, I can only understand what are you, what right, do you do when there's three They're getting the smaller for some reason. You have 300 judges. Yeah, I guess. This too small? Well, this last one you gave me is a good bit smaller. Okay, than the okay. First one. Uh, sorry, I'll recut. Two. recut. No. And then this one is going to be even smaller than that, I bet. What? Well, you're getting smaller. You're okay. fine. Put it towards the funnel down. Just use right. it. Just, put it, just go. So long is it okay? Yeah, that's good. You're all It's falling down. Okay, so we need to use our. We can put more kale in. Burn ins. How much time we got, guys? We got. It's 124. Yeah, we got a couple minutes. You're oh, gonna, whoa, what's that part? Th cut those in half. Cut them in half? Which, which way? They're, they're, because they're... Yeah, it's more than a mouth. Uh, keep How? the... What, keep the crust? Keep the crust, keep the crust, just cut it in... Yeah, wow, you just reached in and grabbed the blade of the knife. Like that? Yep. Should we quarter it? No, Wait, just so you do cut it in half. Or you can okay, cut like it that. Uh, you can do... You don't have no, to no, do no, that. No, 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 no. Be careful this with guy. that. Okay. Um, I really like number five. Uh, it tastes... Uh, it had a nice beef taste to it. With some nice seasoning, and uh, the least I liked was probably number four, and uh, it was kind of bland, and uh, didn't get the full beef flavor of it. I don't know, I like four and five for flavor. I thought they both had some some good flavor. I, I like number four least for presentation, however. Uh, number four, the fat cap was interesting. It was difficult. I didn't pick enough, I guess. It was difficult to get a piece that didn't have a bunch of fat in it. I thought there were some interesting presentations um, for scores of appearance, and um, there were some that were underdone and overdone. Brisket, of course, being the last one is always the toughest one to uh, deal with. And uh, I'd have to agree that there was some uh, interesting presentations. Uh, I had difficulties with number four, and uh, number five was all right. Uh, uh, number three, I thought was okay.